summon our Godo character basically moves around in the direction that our keys are being pressed. But if we move the mouse, it doesn't follow. So what we're going to want to do is when we move the mouse left, our character is going to spin to the left, move the mouse up and down, the camera's going to pivot up and down. So how we're going to do that is we're going to open up our player scene and we're going to add what's called a camera pivot. So essentially at the moment, our camera's all the way out here. And if it moves, so if we rotate it, if we would have just rotate it here, it's going to pivot around this point in space. But what we want it to do is to pivot around the player. So what we're going to do is add a child node and let's call it camera pivot. Oh, actually, it's going to be of type node 3D. And we'll rename it to camera pivot. Doesn't really matter what we call it. And let's just move it into our position that we want to pivot this camera around. And I'm going to make my camera a child of camera pivot. What that means now is that if I rotate this, the camera will spin around. So key thing, camera is a child of camera pivot. Now we need to jump into our script. So we can open up our script for the player. Physics process stays exactly the same. But what we might want to do is go in, after our constants, we're going to have an export of variable so that we can modify it later. So we're going to export var. Sensitivity is assigned to 1000. So this is sort of our mouse sensitivity. The reason why I've put it here is that say when we're in 3D mode, if we're on our player, we can actually go and modify the sensitivity without having to jump into our script. So the at export basically means it's available to us outside of the script, just in the built-in library. So there's a few little changes, uh, particularly with GoodO3, you could just write export, and same with on ready, but GoodO4, we use the little at symbol in front. Okay, function, that stays the same. What we're gonna actually do is handle our input. So we're going to have func underscore input event. So anytime some event happens, we're going to do something. So if the event is of type input, where's mouse event? Input mouse motion, do something. Let's just test it's actually detecting that mouse motion by using a print statement and we'll just run that and we can see every time I move the mouse this little message is appearing. So that's cool, so we know that event is actually triggering. What we're going to then do is handle our rotation. So rotation.y so basically gets the rotation of whatever this node is, the character body 3D. So it's y rotation. If we look at the model that is actually, this is our y-axis, so it's spinning around this, so left and right. So sometimes when we're taking our inputs, the x and y sort of don't match up that nicely. So minus equal, so shorthand for writing rotation dot y minus. So minus equal whatever the event is, relative dot x, so how much the mouse has moved to the left or right, divided by the sensitivity. So that's just changing how much it's going to move. So let's actually just have a look at how that runs. So we can sort of see we're pivoting left and right. And what's nice is the character actually now moves in the direction that we're facing. That's the first bit, but moving the mouse up and down wasn't doing anything. So what we're going to then do is take our camera pivot, rotation.x, so if you think back on this one, x is when we're spinning around this, so we're looking forward and back. But what we are doing here is basically spinning it this way, up and down. But we're going to do put what's called a clamp on to sort of stop it going too far. So let's have a look at this. So camera dot rotation minus equal to 
event dot relative dot y divided by sensitivity and then what we're going to apply is a clamp to this camera favorite dot rotation dot x one thing to note with the dollar camera favorite so whatever the script is we can use a dollar sign to access any nodes that are under it so this is getting the camera pivot if i wanted to get the camera 3d i could put dollar sign camera pivot slash camera 3d and now we're going to use the built-in clamp function to take the camera pivot value and we're going to set a minimum and maximum so degrees to radians so we're going to say let's say we got to look down 45 degrees and let's be able to look up 90 so let's see if we got those around the right way because these could be around the wrong way so as you see we can look all the way up So we're going to sort of lock our camera, which is quite cool. Okay, so that is our core values that we've implemented. So a bit of looking, a bit of movement. That's it for this video. Have a look at some others. I hope you've been able to apply this into your own games. Enjoy.